Hey guys, so far when today is going well, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a review on the Smashing Yo-Yo's Bounce. This is one of Smashing Yo-Yo's newest releases, and I'm really excited to do a review on it. Let's jump right in. Alright, so quick shout outs for how I got this yo yo. I was gonna buy a float a little bit ago and I kinda announced it on my Instagram or whatever. And then Smashing Yo's DM me and said that when I buy the float, they'll also include a bounce with my order. So I really gotta give a shout out to Smashing Yo's. I'm very grateful that you sent me the bounce. In addition, guys, I'll be doing a review on the Smashing Yo's and Scales Collective float in just a little bit. But yeah, super generous gift from Smashing Yo's. Thank you very much for including this in my order. Alright, so what is the bounce? This is one of Smashing Yo's newest yo yo's, and it's one of their very first, like, budget from the yo-yo. So this yo-yo goes for around $60. I'll put the links down below if you're interested in picking one of these up. In general, this is just supposed to be a, you know, kind of like fun, but also powerful throw. So let's find out if it meets those standards. All right, so before we get any further, I'm going to put the specs on the screen of this yo-yo. None of the dimensions are really too crazy, but it's just if you guys want to see the specs and have a closer look at them, pause the video and you can take a closer look at the specs. Alright, so let's get to the unboxing and look around the yo-yo. So to start, this yo-yo comes in a really, really nice white and red pouch. I honestly, like, I really dig it. Not too many yo-yo companies ship their yo-yos in pouches, and I kind of like the idea. Oh, it feels a little bit more personal, a little bit more high quality, and so I love that Smashing Yo-Yos has included this yo-yo in a pouch. Now, looking at the yo-yo, to start, this orange colorway is really, really sick. It's kind of hard to describe. In some lighting, it looks like a very light orange, but in other lighting, it looks like a darker orange. So it's just kind of a cross between the two, I guess, but overall, I really like that. The general appearance of this yo-yo is definitely more on like the simplistic side. There are no engravings whatsoever on this yo-yo and it just kind of looks very like curvy but also very simplistic. Around the entire yo-yo we got a very you know smooth bead blasted matte finish and now moving on over to the shape it's actually pretty interesting. So we've got a bunch of different cuts, some pretty giant rims and then a fairly kind of like I call it a more narrow shape in general. The walls themselves are a little bit higher than most yo-yos nowadays. It's almost more of an organic shape I'd say. Over Overall, the shape just feels a little bit more like narrow and chunky than most of the yo's that I've seen nowadays. Now moving over to the cup, we've got a kind of a lot going on. This yo features some pretty thick rims, like I said before, and then there's some just some cuts down to the center. In the center, we've got this pretty sizable nub, actually. It's kind of, it juts out quite a bit, so that's just something to note. The cup just overall just has a bunch of cuts and then the nub in the middle. Overall, I feel like the shape of this yo is really, really unique, and you don't really see that many yo's that look like this. Now let's talk about the feel of the yo. So to start, this yo actually has a really unique and fun feel to it. It's, uh, it feels very solid on the string, it feels very rim weighted, make, which makes sense because the rims of this yo are pretty darn thick. In my opinion, it lacks a little bit in spin time, but I think that's just because of the shape, because this yo has some, like, a little bit higher walls, I and mean, it's a little bit more narrow than most, like, yo-yos that are made nowadays, and so I feel like in some of my more extreme combos, it lacks a little bit in regards to spin time just because of the shape of the yo-yo. For fast tricks, I'd say this yo is pretty good. Overall, the, like, kind of weight and feel is pretty balanced between floaty and like a brick and so this yo can definitely do your fast tricks it's not like extremely extremely good but they can definitely be done for whips and slacks I'd say this yo is pretty good the shape itself like I said before is a little bit on the narrow side however they can still like totally be performed with a little bit more precision for tech tricks this yo is pretty good I mean the specs of this yo aren't like too irregular this yo isn't like super super big in any way so you can definitely get into those more complex string orientations and then finally for horizontal I'd say this yo is pretty good I mean the shape itself isn't like the greatest for horizontal since it is, in my opinion, a little bit on the narrow, but you can still definitely do those tricks. For grinds, this yo-yo is really, really nice. The finger and palm grinds are amazing, you know, because this yo-yo has a super, super smooth matte finish. Thumb and talon grinds are also amazing since there is definitely a ridge to lock in your finger. And then for finger spins, they're actually pretty good. I mean, the finish of this yo-yo is very, like, matte and smooth, and so you can definitely do finger spins. I mean, you're not going to be able to, like, lock in or anything like that. You're not going to have your finger lock into a groove. You're just kind of rotate around that nub, but they're still pretty good. Now, one of the main 
main claim to fames and kind of like goals for the bounce is that this yo is intended for 3A, and I can definitely see why it'd be a great 3A yo. I mean, the price itself is $60, and that means it's not too crazy to buy, like, you know, two yo's for 3A. You know, $120 is a lot of money, you know, for two yo's. However, it's not as bad as some of the other yo's out there that cost, you know, hundreds of dollars just for one of them. So I can definitely see why people would want to use these as 3A yo's. They're also, like, super solid on the string. They don't tilt that easily, I'd say. So uh, that's a really good feature for some 3A. And yeah, just overall, I think this would be a pretty good 3A option. All right, so conclusion time. This is a really, really fun throw. It has a really nice feel to it. And it's just overall, like, very pleasant yo-yo to throw down. I just really like playing with it. It has a really interesting feel on the string. And I've really been enjoying the bounce these days. This may not be the most, you know, angular or competition-driven yo yo However, it's not really, like, meant for that. I really recommend this yo-yo for anyone that's looking for, you know, a very fun, kind of like a feel-good yo-yo that has a pretty accommodating price. All right, so that's about it for my review of the Smashing Yo-Yo's Bounce. If you guys enjoyed the video and learned something new, be sure to hit that like button. Also, if you guys are new here and haven't seen my videos before, definitely hit that subscribe button because I post videos just about every single week. Hope you guys all have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. Peace.